every institutional buy and sell from this day right here, January 4th, all the way to this day right here, March 31st, all of those sales and buys from institutions will have to be filed in a 13F SEC form by this the end of this week actually if my math is correct we're also going to go over the news we've got several we've got several pieces of news today to cover we've got twitter news we've got a very bullish article we've got a ton of crap to go over and the technical analysis of course we're going to go over that in a whole nother video because this is just going to be too much and my brain cells are going to explode they're already going to anyway so let's do this for 13 f's they have to file it 45 days within the ending of the quarter that the transaction date was done on so for example for these ones right here uh these were done these were the transaction on this was in the first quarter or the or they or it could have been this quarter and they just want to file them early but typically institutions especially blackrock like this is the one that we would care about let's be honest the three million and a half uh, three and a half million uh share purchase there typically Big institutions, they will wait till the very last second to file them. So what this means is that today, this week, is going to be the 45th day after the first quarter, right? And it's almost May 15th, uh, you know, May, May 14th, 13th, around that area is going to be 14, 45 days after the end of quarter one, because the end of quarter one is going to be March 31st. So basically, ape language, if I'm not missing something, which I always can be, all institutions, if they don't file, they're at 13 Fs for today or tomorrow, right? Or, or yeah, tomorrow, uh, by by the, at the latest Friday, but I think it's actually, I think 45 days is is uh, Thursday or 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 today tonight um they have to get all of their quarter one buys and sells in a 13f reported and filed so everything we need to know as far as if blackrock is holding that is going to be what we that we're going to be able to know very soon uh my prediction is actually i'm not that bullish on this because guess what guys they got in at 558 this is <laughs> march 5th the low for the day on march 5th was 558 don't you think it would make perfect sense if BlackRock got in right there and then flipped it right here? Which they can certainly, they could have done that, right? They could, they, uh, for any sale, uh, buy or sell up to this date from January 4th, this huge candle right here up to right there, all of that stuff doesn't have to be filed until like the, the, the expiration of, you know, 45 days after the first quarter ending, which is going to be uh this week thursday or friday specifically so it's going to be very telling to see if these guys held through and if we don't get any uh form from them they at least held through uh up until this point and if they held through this much do you think they sold this low probably not also especially given that they these institutions typically will hold their shares very long this is very bullish for me at least i think it's very bullish if they were to do that which of course we're gonna see what happens the first sapphire was installed at cyprus uh, something foundation to join their efforts in the fight against cancer okay blah blah yada yada hope in progress right this is great this is cancer research that's being done with our boy the sapphire that's what we want to see any sort of revolution in cancer you know the stock price will go burr and we will go moon before you can blink if that happens which it can at any point we have the best structural variation large structural variation detection in cancer for anything 500 base pairs or higher we have the best structural variation large structural variation detection this author of this article absolutely amazing and i'm actually surprised because usually i hate the analysts and you know usually there are a ton of monkeys running around with their you know banging each other's heads on scorn crap this guy uh something i'm not even gonna try with that name but investor place man dude good job on this one this is such a nice surprise to see them not banging their head with their with their fist you know just yeah uh, bio you know, bad short puts you know this crap that we see every day now we're finally getting someone come to their senses First point here is actually not even that bullish, but uh, it's talking about how BioNano had the Reddit effect here. And last November, this was a penny stock. Yeah, retail investors took to Reddit and helped it drive that massive gain. Yada, yada, blah, blah, blah. Okay, the Reddit effect continues to be a factor. But if you actually click on this, this other article that he claims, you know, implies that it's proof, March 22nd. And <laughs> that's a little outdated, don't you think? We know, because we are in the BNGO subreddit, no one gives a crap about BNGO. I mean, I mean, I gave the due diligence of the century, right, of, of all time, 78 pages, 73 pages, got not even 400 upvotes on Wall Street Bets, right? I mean, on the BNGO, it barely got any. So Reddit effect, 
a little bit, not a lot contri- right now. Not really. Anyways, that's not that important. That, whatever. That's that's a little minuscule, honestly. What about Sapphire? The company is beginning to sell more of the units, and these sales also generate ongoing revenue through purchase of consumables. Right. This is consumables. You have to keep purchasing these. The chips, the pigments, the regents. All right. All this crap. They gotta. It's not crap. It's good stuff. But they have to keep buying this stuff. If they want to keep analyzing uh, blood samples, bone marrow samples, whatever the heck they got with the Sapphire system. Its most recent high profile sale was to the UK national system and NHS, which was announced in April that is adopting uh, Sapphire for two large laboratories. Also, the Lineagen acquisition, right? We talk about this all the time. The Utah based company provides diagnostic services. Okay, they're autism, especially. Okay, uh, nice revenue. Um, but it also offers BioNano the opportunity to pitch customers who are already working with Lineagen on the company Sapphire system, right? So anyone who is who anyone who is a customer of Lineagen or any sort of business partners, they are going to be exposed to BioNano Sapphire. So this is just another great thing for the Sapphire and the the, the team and the, and the CEO's long term vision quote of the global adoption of Sapphire. That's what they all want. Which your ape language would be, if we get global adoption of Sapphire, we are going to easily 5X, if not 10X. I mean, if it becomes the new standard for uh, cancer structural variation detection and could overtake the orthodox thing with it, which is karyotyping, uh, to my, in my mind, or based on what I know, that would, it would be over. It would be done. We would be, BNGO would be gone. It would be to the moon and never to return. In its previous quarter, BioNano beat analyst expectations and for both revenue and earnings per share, right? If that were to happen again on May 13th, tomorrow, please set your reminder for the stream. Do not watch some other YouTuber stream. Be here. We are going to have it the best, my friends. I promise you. It could be the catalyst that kicks the, it kicks off the recovery in BNGO style. That sounds like me, doesn't it? That just sounds like me talking. That's an Investor Place article guy talking, which of course, Investor Place articles, honestly, you probably trust me more than these guys, let's be honest. Still, it's nice to hear it from someone who's not inherently biased like me. And this guy doesn't even own shares, according to the little thing and disclaimer at the bottom, right? Regardless of what happens with a strong balance sheet, growing success with Sapphire and the acquisition of Linogen, BioNano stock is in a favorable to in, is in a position of favorable to long-term growth, right? Even if the earnings are amiss and BNGO slips further, I doubt it will stay down for long. I mean, is this just me talking at this point? I mean, this guy's exactly, exactly right. And here's the little on the day of publication, blah, blah, yada, yada, and he doesn't own the shares. So this is extremely bullish. I mean, this is this is this is just me, my embodiment in a, in an article, right? At least the bottom, the, the last part here. I'm gonna make a market update talking about all this crap, inflation, CPI, Fed may just keep printing, job numbers, uh, the oil thing, the S and P 500 correction potentially, all this crap. We're gonna be talking about that in the Nasdaq uh, fundamental and S and P 500 broader market update. Uh, fundamentally wise, that's gonna be coming today or tomorrow. The date for earnings is 4.30 p.m. Eastern Time. That's going to be 3.30 Central Time, 2.30 Mountain Time, and 1.30 uh, Pacific Time. I want you to set your reminder. I'm going to skip around here. I want you to go to my homepage. I want you to go down to the upcoming live stream, right? Just go to the homepage, desktop, mobile. It's the exact same thing. BNG Earnings Live. Set your reminder. Set it now. Set it now. Card on the top right for that so it's easy for you. Also, link in the description and the and the comments, pinned comments. I will also put a card for the uh, quarter one 2021 earnings. What we know, and I also have to say, this sucks that I have to say this, but I admit when I'm wrong. I actually miss, I, this is actually wrong what I said here. This stuff right here that I said need to know stuff, right? I was implying that this stuff is going to, going to increase revenue, right? These two things were actually in quarter two, like right after this one was a, uh, April 7th, I believe, and this one was like April 20th or something. Neither of them are going to count towards quarter one because they happened in quarter two. You know, the cutoff is uh, between March and April. April starts quarter two. So this is not going to affect the stock price. But this other stuff that we we're talking about, hell yes, it's going to affect it. Uh, this right here, hell yes, it's going to affect it. So that video is still mostly, uh, it's still it's still good. Just, you know, take this stuff with it with a grain of salt. Estimates are the same. They have not changed these. So I think we're going to get to uh, my earnings uh, preview and predictions on the live stream before we actually get it tomorrow. It's going to be so fun, but uh, but more on that later. Current positions in portfolio showcase. There's the portfolio. There's the uh, there's the carnage and the more death. This. More on this in the streams. We can talk about my positions. Anyways, relevant information in regards to the title is finished now. Earnings. Let's go. Set your reminder, my friends. Go Set your reminder right now, man. Set your reminder. I'm gonna have cards in the, in the pinned comment in the description, everything for you. Set your earnings. I want to see you there. It's gonna be so fun. I'm so I'm gonna wear a suit. It's gonna be an amazing time. If we get a huge revenue B and start the recovery off, oh my gosh, that'd be so fun. It's gonna be amazing. Playlist. 
you want to know how to access the playlist on the channel either you can just scroll down on the home page or you can click the playlist tab i get questions on this somehow so here you go boom 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 um upgrades are on the way camera lighting um monitor uh better audio all these things are coming on the way my friends i promise you that price targets and all my money that i made from youtube are all going to this and a one thousand dollar donation none of it i am pocketing whatsoever price targets current positions i said i would do this today Technically, the day's not over yet, but I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, I didn't. I a, a, a government uh, final, a uh, government class's final took way longer than I thought, and I uh, so that uh, that kind of stifled me. And also, I'm trying to get several other videos out today, so sorry, I may not be able to get this done today, maybe tomorrow. Uh, but I, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to get this done. I'm gonna try to update these and make new uh, new new June June uh, 12th June 15th price starts whatever it's gonna be. Anyways, this is not financial advice. Thank y'all so much. Technical analysis video coming soon. Make sure you check that out. I'll see y'all in the next one.